Now, you're 23. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think in your lifetime you would see a time when the government said we might just turn down your electricity for a bit? No, and it's an absolutely terrifying prospect. And I think the issue with this is that, of course, it's more politically expedient to blame it on, on Russia. You know, it's the Russian invasion. Despite the fact, you know, we don't actually depend on, on Russian um, gas that much, but obviously we're still... Um, affected by supply chain mm. issues. The problem is, a lot of this has actually been caused by the government's obsession um, with the green agenda. And it's not just this government, it's previous governments. And the Centre for Policy Studies um, has done some fantastic work on this, and they've sadly been proven right. Because in 2015, they said that we are fast running into a scenario where capacity is not meeting demand and you will get to a point where there will be power shortages. In 2015, they said, over the last 10 years, electricity bills have risen by 131% in real terms. And that was quite a while ago. The government has ignored them. One thing they did say, though, is to scrap um, the, the UK's high carbon price support, and again, this is to do, to do with the green agenda, which is designed to reduce greenhouse gas, gas emissions by adding costs to them. So if the government got rid of that, perhaps that would help, amongst other things too, we've closed, and pa closed power stations but not actually sought to replace them. Mm. Um, a lot of this is our own making, sadly. So, Mieta, if we've got this... Thanks, Dominique. If we've got this green drive and yet we have failed to harness... Our renewable energy. What, how has that paradox been allowed to occur? Well, look, I think there are two things to say. First, let's put it in perspective. This is government contingency planning for worst case scenario. We're unlikely to be there because we have a relatively diversified mix. I think the key for the short term, by the way, is storage and storage capacity. But to, to the point on green, which is actually completely wrong. Uh, firstly, the way in which we build our energy security. Remember, coal oil is a finite resource. At some point, it's going to run out. So the beauty of renewables is it actually provides other energy sources within our mix. So irrespective of green, we were going to have to diversify anyway. I think and that's, that's what we do. The challenge has been the government's move to renewables has been really slow. Take something like onshore wind, for example. We've had a moratorium. So we have huge amounts of wind because we're a really windy country, but we haven't had a moratorium on building onshore wind. So my thing is, the big wake-up call is, diversify quickly, move towards renewables at the same time as redu we reduce the energy that we use, energy efficiency. The rate in which we've insulated our homes has declined by 90% since 2012. Yeah. 